Hey guys, in today's video we'll be talking about lead code problem split a string in balanced strings. So let's look at the uh, description. Uh, balanced strings are those that have an equal quantity of L and R characters. Given a balanced string S, split it in the maximum amount of balanced strings. Return the maximum amount of split balanced strings. Okay, so we are given a string that contains letters L and R's. So right there, and then output is 4 because S can be split into RL, RRLL, RL, and RL. So each substring contains the same number of L and R. So, okay, there is another example that goes like RL and then 3 L's and 3 R's, okay. And then uh, and then LR, so output would be three. So pretty much, if you are given a a balanced string to begin with, and we want to chunk it down into smaller substrings, or if we just want to count how many smaller substrings we can make, where R and L's counts are the same. So we can see that the question says the maximum amount of split balanced strings. So that tells us that it's going to be some sort of greedy algorithm. So uh, what I mean by greedy, greedy algorithm is that we take something and then we put it to the side and then we take the next chunk and then we put it to the side once we match the criteria and we just keep on doing that. So for if we take this example to be, uh, start our algorithm, we'll start with the R and then we're going to ask a question, do we have uh, a, a balanced string? The answer is no, we just have one R. And then we're gonna add L to it. Now we're gonna ask a question, do we have enough, uh, do we have a balanced substring now with the R and L? And the answer is yes, because we have an equal number of R and L. So that is one, we push it to the side, and then we take on to the next one, and then we take on to the next one, and then we take on to the next one. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, let's jump right into the coding. Okay, so I guess to start out with that, uh, we're, we're going to keep a variable called a answer. We're going to initialize it to the zero. If s is null, we're just going to return, return the answer. Okay, if s is not null, then we want to loop through it. And then we're gonna check. Let's get the uh, character at that. Uh, so now we have a character at the ith index. Now, like we talked about, we want to make sure that when we are looking at the character, and if we use that character, does that make a balanced string? If the answer is yes, then we uh, increment the count of our answer. If not, we continue moving forward with the uh, loop. So let's create a variable that's going to keep track of how many L's and R's we've seen. So I'm just going to create a single uh, variable, uh, call it account. And anytime we see R, we're going to increment up. And anytime we see L, we're going to decrement it. And then at any time, if we see zero in the count, that means we have found our uh, we have found our substring that is balanced and we're just going to increment our answer and that should do it. So if character is L then we're gonna uh, we're gonna decrement else if character R then we're gonna increment and if, like we said, if the count goes to zero, that means our answer plus plus. So hopefully at the end of this loop, our answer will contain the right number of uh, substrings we can create from the given balanced st string. And we just return the answer. So let me just go through it one more time and make sure everything is 
properly done. We get the character. If it's L, we decrement. If it's R, we increment. And if the count goes to zero, that means we found our uh, our found our balance substring. And in that case, we increment the answer. And uh, that should do it. Let's try to run this. Works. Let's submit it. There you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any other problems that you want me to discuss, please put it in the comments. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.